What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to record your PC screen with a couple of different programs so you can make YouTube videos, live stream, or anything like that. So the first program we're going to look at is Share, which comes with GeForce Experience, and you do have to have a specific type of graphics card uh, to actually use this, and you can see on screen which ones are actually going to work, but if you have a compatible graphics card, what you want to do is click the link in the description, and that will take you to this page, and you want to click Download and that will start your download of GeForce Experience. Once you've downloaded it, you want to run the program and begin the installation. Now, because I already have it downloaded, it's not gonna allow me to do it again, but once you get it downloaded, it'll take you to this screen. And when you go into settings, you can start to change things. So under the connect tab, I've not done anything with this. Uh, it's not necessary for recording. The HUD layout, you want to have your status indicator somewhere on the screen. Uh, so you know if you're recording and the FPS counter as well, uh, just to know what FPS you're running at. And of course, viewers and comments are for live streaming. So if you're just recording videos, you don't have to worry about that. Next, we have keyboard shortcuts, which basically is just going to allow you to start recording and recording, take a screenshot, that kind of thing. It's just the keys that you're going to use to do so. You can set those up to your preference. Then we have the recordings tab, which is just where your files are going to be saved. If you want to, you can change it. Uh, but as a default, it's going to save under videos. Next, we have the broadcast live tab, which of course is for live streaming. I don't have any experience with this, so I can't say what you need to set up. Uh, if you're going to be live streaming, but that does not affect just recording. Next, we have the audio tab, which is quite important. You want to click separate both tracks. As a default, it's going to be create a single track, but if you click separate both tracks, that allows you to, in editing, cut away the microphone track if something happens. That way, you'll still have the gameplay footage. Next, we have video capture, which is just the quality that you're recording in. So there's low, medium, high, and custom. I personally use custom, uh, which is just high and a slightly higher bitrate. But once again, that is your preference. Next, we have notifications, which is just an overlay that'll pop up when you start a recording, end a recording, or take a screenshot if you have it turned on. I'll take a screenshot here just so you can see on the right what it looks like. That's only going to show up in your video file if you do it on the desktop. If you're recording in-game, that actually is not going to show up in the video. And lastly, we have privacy control, which is basically just allowing you to record your desktop. So if you have any interest in recording your desktop, you can click yes. Otherwise, you can click no, and you are all set to record with share. Next, we have Bandicam, which is not a free program, but it does have a free version, which has some limitations. But you want to click the link in the description. That'll take you to this page, and you want to start your download. Because the setup of Bandicam is pretty similar to the setup of Share, I'm not going to go through it all again, but if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. I'll be reading for them. Uh, and if this video was published a long time ago, what I would recommend is commenting on my most recent video. That way I can actually see it, uh, and I'll come and answer your comment there. But I do recommend trying the free version of Bandicam first before you commit to paying for the full version. Uh, just so you know, if you do want to make YouTube videos or if you want to use a different program, I do want to clarify that Bandicam does not allow you to live stream. Uh, so Share is probably better there, and the other program I'm going to show after Bandicam is actually better for live streaming as well. So that is all I have for Bandicam. Once again, if you do have any questions regarding the setup, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be reading and looking for questions that I can answer uh, so I can hopefully help you guys out. Another program you should check out, especially if you're looking to live stream, is OBS Studio. I personally don't have any experience using it. I've always used Bandicam and Share, so I can't really show how to set this up, but I would recommend looking into it, especially if you're looking to live stream. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out there, but I do recommend looking at tutorials uh, on YouTube or elsewhere just to see what you think of it, uh, but it is a free program as well. So it's really that simple to start recording your gameplay footage for YouTube or live streaming, and once again, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to respond to absolutely all of them, uh, and hopefully this helped you guys out. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.